reaching up into the water, like the branches of trees. They are thousands of organisms living together as one. And together, they provide shelter and protection for many more. This is really important for a lot of different marine organisms and provides a refuge for these organisms. Once a common sight, Elkhorn and staghorn corals were the dominant shallow reef building corals in the Caribbean and Florida. Coral reefs are under extreme stress today from a variety of causes, both globally and locally. In the past 30 years, Elkhorn and the staghorn have declined dramatically, between 90 and 98 percent throughout the Caribbean. They're now listed as threatened under the U.S. Endangered Species Act. And are much reduced from their former glory. Primarily, disease, as well as some other factors, has led to the drop in numbers of Elkhorn and staghorn colonies. But while these corals have declined in recent years, their hybrid appears to be increasing in parts of the region. What's really cool about this hybridizing system is that the hybrid has not found the fossil record. They seem to be increasing recently, likely due to the decrease in the parental species. Often found in really shallow water, this hybrid, commonly called fused staghorn, closely resembles its parents. We have some that look very much like staghorn and then others that look like elkhorn. Most of the ones that I've seen throughout all my study sites in the Caribbean have more of a staghorn look to them, but they're more tightly clumped than the branching staghorn. Could these hybrids be better equipped at dealing with environmental stressors? Might they be filling a niche left behind by the decline of their parents?